everybody, welcome to the Swear Corner for those joining us for the very first time. <laughs> welcome y'all, welcome. I don't know why I always do a thing. Hi, how's it going? Cool. Anyway, my name is Oluda BTW. Um, is in by the way. So coming with you already like with my eyes done and my eyebrows not to waste time because we're filming oh I'm filming a new vid a video about um, this trend that's going on on TikTok that's called underpainting a new method of putting on your makeup basically underpainting is doing what you would do after your foundation before your foundation excluding the powder part I'm going to start by priming my face with the Revlon Prime Plus brightening and skin tone primer a generous amount then you go in with your concealer first but not your normal like a um one skin tone lighter than one shade lighter than your skin tone this is like very very light so for this thing we're going to go in with true match foundation from black opal it's a stick foundation and basically you're applying the areas that you would normally apply your concealer so And you know, for me, it literally reminds me of the Scott Barnes um, foundation method. Yes, that's what I call it. I think you remember there was a time that I did this following Scott Barnes foundation method and I did a whole situation, but I had like a whole ponytail up at the time. I'll link the video here so you can see that. That's basically what this is almost like. I really feel like this is the exact same thing. And people have just taken it because now TikTok has gone viral and everything. So now it has become one of those like things that everybody is trying out. I know for sure that like, someone like Jackie Anna, for example, has been doing it for a while now. Um, and I usually do it, but on like weekends and stuff, but like places to go. And then I'm going to go in with the, the dark, dark foundation. This is the one candid from Revlon. Oh, my hair is all over the place. The liquid one, because my other contour stick foundation is not dark enough. And I remember when I did it with the Scott Barnes method, it wasn't dark enough for me to like to use. This is dark enough. You want to go in with the shade that's at least two shades darker. So that's basically that. And then they also apply um, blush, but I don't have like a liquid lips, a liquid blush. So I'm going to just go in with my lipstick from Smudge there, and then apply it there, right like that. And then you start blending and this is the part that's like literally the hardest part because you have to blend this out correctly you can't do a half job you have to do it correctly and if you're going to use like um uh, stick foundations or like cream foundations you have to blend it out with a beauty blend no you have to blend it out with brushes and if you're going to use um, liquid foundations then maybe yes you can play around in between now I've used a combination of cream foundation and liquid foundation so I'm going to start with cream foundation with this and then going with the blender for the liquid foundation because this is also a very full coverage and you don't want it to move so much and I just feel like the blender usually removes the stuff and what you want to do is as to not move it you're not going to move it around the product all you do is tap it in like you're layering it on your skin And this is good because people say apparently that you use very little on um, product compared to if you used if you go the foundation trick first because then you end up needing very little foundation so which in that sense becomes very little product but if you also don't have any skin issues with your skin i also don't think you need to use as much concealer as i did now But I remember the Scott Buns method needed a lot of like product because we were using a lot of like the under layer stuff was cream and then you he went on top with like more uh, liquid foundation so that makes made the blending between your concealer and your um, your contour and your 
uh, foundation much easier because the top part is just in the liquid you know so I'm just gonna blend this properly this is literally blending for now and then with the Dem Beauty Blender I'm gonna start off by, by blending out the contour everything on the side I'm just gonna blend together so even with the lipstick -y. But I see that the lipstick is like disappearing. So I might go in with a bit more lipstick. I think it's disappearing because of the contour that is so dark. The dark foundation. By the way, this is in the shade Espresso. You just blend. This is gonna take a while. So all we do is blend. Blend, 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 blend. And you wanna make sure that your blend is properly done before you even think about going in with your foundation itself right in the end I'm going to lighten this concealer here just a little bit so I'm going to go in with this liquid one I'm going to use a different applicator brush just to brighten the under eye and then blend it out Once you've done that, I feel like my my blush is definitely gone. So I'm gonna try and go back in with the blush. Maybe I think I'm going with something that's more matte. Let's try something a bit more matte. So I'm going to use this clear. Oh, that's pretty. Lip gloss from Signature. Let's try and blend that into this area. So that it's blushy but that I think feel like it's the oh, oh I'm just use a little bit more because on this side it's showing up so it's about using a little bit more You can show up. it looks very blood red, <laughs> but it's not it's really like um, orange, cream, copper, whatever the color is. So, putting that in there, all right. And then on the other side of the blender, I just blend out this highlight here, and then I blend up to the nose because I'm going to blend it but not so much that it's like that's enough right so like that oh I like the way this looks technically it should just be like that you know don't overdo it because this is going to go on top now uh, people will go in with their foundation thin and for the purpose of this I'm going to go in with Revlon um, combination makeup this is color stay 24 hour that one I'm going to put a little bit here. Also remember it's liquid. I'm not going to use a lot. That basically is all I'm going to use right there. Right at the back of your hand is your, should be your favorite thing ever. And then in the areas where you didn't apply found, um, any product like there and there. I know I applied but technically. Right? And then there. Well, the only three areas in my face where I didn't apply product really. So I go in and then I blend out. And you want this one to mix with the contour that you applied on your face. That's why you don't use a lot, you use very little. You use very little because that's supposed to blend out. I've seen people also go over their entire face literally with the foundation, but I think that it defeats the purpose of you applying all those products and making it a lot because what's the point if you're going to go in again 
you know so it will just be wise that if you, you do dab it in the areas where you want once you're done blending and then you can go to the other areas and maybe like you want a little bit more coverage and like that to make the blend more seamless then you go over but after you've used the product and then you just use the the blender like that so same thing on this side see very little that you use and you do the same process on this side And then you can go over if you see like oh my gosh my blush is a little bit too much you go over but but this time you've already blended out everything so but it takes patience that's what this thing requires a lot of patience because it requires a lot of blending a lot of going in between you know fixed areas because that's the whole situation That's basically that. Now we're going to set it. You set the usual way that you would set. I am going to use a brush and then I'm going to follow it up with blending it out. My camera died, but we're back. Um, and then while I went to change, I put on some lashes. Now, let's finish this whole story. And then we'll go in with a contour. And I'm going to use, you guys know I like my brown from the JK and I have ABH palette. That's the one I always use. There's a nice brown in there and that's the brown that I use for contouring. To just set this contour here and and I'm brushing it up into this blush here. This matte is very pretty. Just into the blush there. And then this one is up again. Why am I brushing it up? Because I don't want it to create like a line on my jawline. But I wanted to create like a shadow. So making it go up creates a shadow. And then a little bit more for the forehead. But because there's so much hair on my forehead, I'm not gonna do a lot. Just a little bit. And there. Because I'm applying all the contour all over the place makes your face a little bit slimmer and I like the look of a little bit slimmer face so. and I'm not gonna put anything over this blush I'm just gonna leave it like that because I like the way that it looks and basically if you have like a powder in your oily skin or whatever you take a powder that's then your skin tone and then you can either go in with a blender I would suggest you're going with a blender and then in the areas where you need them to set it but I'm gonna do that and then tap it off and then pet very lightly in the areas where you applied your foundation because now you're just setting areas if you have applied um, a lot of like powder and all of that stuff and it's baked this is then when you go in with your setting spray before you go in with your highlighter but I didn't apply so much product for me to like set the entire thing I think that it looks cool and now we're going to do lip shooting no it's highlight first I said highlight uh, I'm going to use the stroke of genius of course by in one fix and then I'm going to use a smaller brush and then just to create that nice small line and windows 
and then there and then there and then over there and I'm going to do this and blend because I don't want too much highlight just, I want just right right then you go in with your lipstick and I am going to do my black lip Going with my favorite la chocolat. Take a little bit of huntress. Oops. With this new, well, not really new, new, but I guess new because of viral TikTok technique. Um, so, this is the final look with this new makeup technique that's viral, the underpainting technique. Again, technically, I mean, it looks, I think it looks really, really cute. The eye look is going to be on my Instagram, of course. I mean, Make sure you follow me. Like most of my handles are going to be on Instagram. So it's Orunda underscore Armas. I'll put it here. Make sure that you check it out um, and that you go follow me there for all these eye looks. And basically, this is like that look. And I think it looks really cute. I think it also looks cute because of the hair. That's very different. I really come on here with like longer hair. Oh, girl. But I think this looks really, really cute. I look really grown though. I'm mm, grown. <laughs> But this is literally the final look um a few points on this here if you're going to use this again like i said please make sure that you layer your product because then you can put concealer and then put concealer again um to get the the consistency or the as light as you want or as much coverage not like consistency but as much coverage as you need um but if you put a lot of product on your face blending is going to be very very hard and it will take you forever especially for well, like just beginning so make sure that you actually um take it slow and you must have time for this type of like foundation cover that you're going to put on your skin and for the amount of blending that you would have to do because we're going to see everything it's like literally too light and too dark products missing on your face so if you don't blend it out you're going to see the fine lines like no one's business i think this is a very beautiful look for those like real night out and you're going to take pictures and you're going to be in someone's face you know like that pictures and all of that it's going to be one of those beautiful looks again it reminds me of the Scott Vance method. I think it's literally just that people just revamped it. I mean, he does it for J Lo. It's literally, that's why it's called the Scott Vance method because he does it for J Lo and he puts a lot of product, a lot of like highlighter and all of that on her skin simply because she's going to be on like television and, and cameras and are going to be flashing. So you want a like a beautiful look and full color foundation to literally hit her skin and still make her look like she looks like not a lot of product was put on. This is really really good again for like those type of things. So if you're like an event and you're going to be like in front of TV cameras all of that stuff you know this is the type of look and also it's very full cover in the sense that um it's also for events i think this is very very like event look you want to spend a couple of hours you want everything to sit so you're going to spend a couple of hours in front of your mirror and do this routine because the amount of blending again the amount of blending that you're going to have to do to just get this to look very nice um yeah i think if you're going to use liquid products make sure that you use, do use like the mattifying type of liquid products not the dewy ones um, because then it will at least blend and sit on your like adhere to your skin and I feel like the dual ones will just make you look like you use too much product because that's not the look that you're going for I feel like if you're doing this look you're really going for like a made-up face it's not like for like every day oh I just maybe I didn't, I didn't apply so much product at all type of product it's not one of those this is a look for I have beat my face 
and I spent time beating my face type of look um, so yeah I think it's worth a try it is very really cool I like I said I usually do it for events if I'm going somewhere I have a function to go to the, part for the bottom first and there it was like cream foundations and then on top blend everything out properly because I really want my foundation to sit and it's really good at pictures and I want my face to come out looking like yes girl you know for a proper big big face but otherwise it is a very very cool technique yeah but that's literally my final thoughts on this look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah don't forget to like comment and then subscribe to the channel and I'll to make sure that you are notified with all the videos that come out and i'll see you guys in my next video and i really have a lot to talk about i think i look cute i'm gonna sit here and take pictures and yeah